This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. Thank you once more to Fanhome for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 31 of Building Robocop. Uh, this issue, we're continuing with the second leg, uh, the right leg, I believe. Because uh, I'm get, waiting to get forward to this bit to put the, the gun, the holster in his leg. But I'm not doing that yet. We're doing the lower part of the leg. The knee, I think, this time. Uh, after, of course, looking through the magazine and looking about... Uh, it's all in Texas. Is it the thing we're all in Texas? I don't know. I'm not going to read the words. But if you want to read the words, feel free to pause and have a look back. There we go. All of those for your viewing pleasure. Uh, the building bit is what I'm here for. So we've got some parts, we've got some plastic parts, the metal joint, which we're going to be putting together. And that in place, holding it in place, it's spring and joint, getting that good to go. And that's where it's going to be. Uh, we've done all this before on the other side, so this is just sort of repeating, but mirrored. It's not the different bit yet till we get to the top part of the leg. Uh, robots, yeah. Uh, humanoid robot. Um, Asimo. Very clever stuff. In walk and things and... I don't know that he actually responded to commands in its first instance. I think it was made more radio controlled, but all good stuff. Uh, yeah, is that the red arrows? This could be um, disruptive innovation. I don't know about that. Yep. There we go. Oh, Walkman. All good stuff. So, uh, right, let's clear this out of the way and let's get to the building. So, here we go. These are the parts supplied. We don't need any other parts for this particular issue. We're going to be building all of this and then uh, get on with it. So, we've got the nut to put into there, uh, the spring, and that we'll be using soon. Let's get these bits out from here. We've got the nut and the bracket that holds it in place, as well as the big screw that we'll be using soon. Let's get those out. And we're going to need the SP screws, which are the tiny ones. That's what the S means, tiny, I think. So two of those. Come on. Let's get the second one out. Just the one more, though. No, don't need the bit of paper. I'll leave that in there so I know that that's an SP screw. I'll put these in the box as a spare. Uh, so the nut flips into the top there, nice and easy. And then this bracket goes over the top and holds it in place. If we can get the screw through there. Let's get that lined up. Uh, apologies if you're going to end up just seeing the back of my head, but uh, that's the way it's going to be for this. That through there. And then, hopefully, I can get that lined up better. I'm going to have to get my uh, glasses of seeing on to get in very close to that and see what's going on there. Let's have a look and see. Get right in there. Throw a little bit of extra light on it as well. So, there we go. No, this is still not ideal for me right i'm gonna do this behind the scenes i'll get that in and then we'll see about doing the rest of it right there we go that's that in there as it should be all protected and held in place uh now we need the other half of it we're going to fit the spring on there and then this bracket goes on there there's a little tag that locates into that notch so it doesn't go anywhere uh, then that needs to go on the top, like that. Let me just turn the page to make sure I'm doing everything correct. Yep, that goes on there. That goes on there. Holding it all together. Get that lined up properly. reason that's not sort of clip in place first but it's not 
Why is it not? If you go into there. There we go, it was it just wasn't quite lined up properly. So I don't need that quite yet. I do need the EP screws, uh, of which there are two, which are gonna hold this together. So we'll get both of those out of that packet. Leave that one spare. So uh, yeah, probably need a small screwdriver for these as well. Uh, so which holes I can't really make out on there which holes these are going to go into it's going to be one there and one there so one right at the bottom there and one in the middle up the top there getting that lined up again go so that one down there holding that together better and one in the top here you go because the other ones are holes right the way through which it's going to hold it all together I think I will need the bigger screwdriver to get these tightened up that's that that will work and click in place and that is held in place with a screw through the other side would also control the tightness of this joint which needs to be fairly tight but not stupidly so we get that tightened up that's now going through into that captive bolt on the other side that is that which then oops i want to have it very tight because it will ease in and when obviously the whole leg is attached to either side it's going to make it easier to move so that is that. I shall make sure these are nicely secure. And that is another issue completely completed. There we go. So that's that. Done. Um, join me next time when we're going to be continuing with the knee joint and possibly, I think, attaching it to the rest of the leg. If not next time, then very soon. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I shall see you soon for more. Bye bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.